Subaru things. Update 94, day 162. I'm finally doing my rotors and brakes. Cause these are f***ing shot. Bruh. I'm probably gonna die. Alright, let's do this. What's up everybody, it's Mike here from Sobby TV. So, I didn't really talk too much during this video. Um, I think most of us are the same, where you get in a groove of working on your car and you just kind of focus on stuff. You're looking stuff up on Google to make sure you're doing right, because I'm no master mechanic, but yeah, this really isn't going to be too much of a descriptive video. I'm not going to like walk you through it. I kind of just post this stuff for fun. Um, do have some big stuff coming, some big videos coming. Uh, my axle video should be a little bit more funny and fun because go up to my buddy Polly's. I got my fender flare video. It is November now. This video was probably shot in like July so you just gotta bear with me. I'm trying to get these videos out as quick as possible but it's kind of tough. So yeah sit back and enjoy. Got the rotor ski off. This thing looks horrible. Hey Tanner I'm gonna need another car. Oh sh Park like a McJackass. Dude, I need a new knuckle or some bearing. I don't know, that's horrible. Candy paint, you know what I'm saying? This candy paint, every stage process, you gotta put the, the simple base coat, then the candy. Bling ding dong, bling a ding dong. They don't got the real candy paint, they got candy concentrate, so. Okay. Alright, so <clears throat> the brakes I went with were a um, R1 Concepts, uh, their carbon series with the Geomet finish, whatever that is. Um, yeah, drilled and slotted. They were just a nice stock replacement. They weren't that expensive. Uh, calipers were just your basic stock Forester calipers. And brake pads I got from Import Image Racing, uh, they were Hawk pads. You know, everybody uses those, Subaru guys, whatever. But um, yeah, uh, these were just temporary because I plan on going a six-speed swap, so eventually you know, I'll have Brembo's on there, so this, I'm really not too worried about these brakes staying on there. Um, I can say that this video was made in July, and it is now November. Uh, the brakes work perfectly. I might make a little bit too much power for the brakes, but, um, yeah, I mean, they, they work perfectly fine. Um, another thing, you only see me really working on this wheel. Uh, at the end of the video, you'll see me go over to the other side, and I kind of explain how I was dealing with strip bolts and bolts that wouldn't come out forever. So this video is only me doing this side. I did do all four, bleed the, bleed the brakes. Um, wish I could have got all that on camera and been more descriptive, but like I said, it's kind of hard when you're by yourself, <clears throat> especially when you're dealing with bolts and shit that won't come out. Everybody knows you just start getting pissed off and yeah, it's never a fun time. Big stuff coming up. Uh, my axle video should be next. I might have like another review video. Um, I might show my wheels. If you follow me on Instagram, all this stuff's old news, but um, it's kind of fun to post it here on YouTube so you can actually see me working on it and the process of changing the car completely. But um, yeah, next video will be axles. I have my fenders, me cutting the fenders and putting my wheels on. Um, H2O video I need to make, yeah, just a lot of, a lot of content, uh, I'll try to be more descriptive in the future, this was kind of, I filmed this when I really wasn't, like, super serious about making a YouTube channel, so, 
a lot of the stuff really isn't me talking. It's just clips from my phone or GoPro that I just set up. But, yeah, I hope you guys like it. I just had to do a voiceover for this because I don't talk in my videos. Finito. So there goes that side on all nice and perfect like. And they, I, by the way, it took like fucking 25 minutes to do that side. Then there's this side, which is one f bolt that was in here. One f bolt. Took me like a fucking hour. So now I gotta go to Subaru because I rounded off this shit out of these. Go get me some more of those because great kit I have didn't come with replacements for those. So axle boot ripped a while back so there's grease in there everywhere i gotta do my axle soon